Good evening, high school sports fans, and welcome again to another edition of A Big Time Sports. I'm the Mellow Tones of Charlie Jones, and tonight in the house, we are going to talk softball. It's not your ordinary softball. This is big time softball, and it's coming to town soon. Have you ever heard of a softball organization called Uncle Charlie's Softball? You're not going to believe what you are about to see here in the next 28 minutes or so, but we're going to be talking Helping Community Hospice. The good guys at Uncle Charlie Softball are coming to town on July 20th and July 21 with uh, probably 80 to 100 softball teams, and these are different age groups, all the way from 8U to 16U in the Helping Community Hospice softball tournament that's July 20th and July 21st in Dover, Ohio. The Uncle Charlie tournament guys are going to bring you big games every day, both Saturday and Sunday. Some will be at Dover City Park, some will be at TCC. The good guys at Big Time Sports, right now we have plans to do a double header Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m., at TCC. I say we have plans. If our plans come through like we have hopes they will do, we're going to bring both of those games live. I repeat, both of those games will be live, but I'm going to give you a little bit of an asterisk, okay? I want you to stay tuned because, you know, sometimes good things don't come through. But right now, we have plans to do both games live. So it's big time. It's Uncle Charlie softball coming to town July 20th and July 21, proceeds to help community hospice. It's a big one, and believe me, last year when they had the tournament here in town, a lot of attention, a lot of fans, a lot of mothers, fathers, good stuff if you like the game of softball. So stay right there. We've got Shannon Cole and his guys in the house tonight to tell us all about Uncle Charlie's tournament. But couple quick dance steps here before I throw it to my first break. I want you to go to BigTimeSportsOhio.com. If you're a high school sports junkie, you got to love it. All of our games, this show, everything we do ends up on our website. That's www.BigTimeSportsOhio.com. Now, recently, and the guys from Uncle Charlie's are going to like this little statement. We've added a couple podcast shows to our lineup on our Facebook, okay? We've got over 50,000 followers on our Big Time Sports Facebook. We have three podcast shows. One is 99 mile per hour with, I'm sure, you know, Jeff Deosi knows about. It's Percy Garner, former Cleveland Guardian, excuse me, Cleveland Indians pitcher, Percy Garner with his 99 mile per hour podcast on the Big Time Sports Facebook. Also, Percy is going to go over here now and do Big Time Sports Today. It's the Big Time Sports Podcast. Now, we just added, for you football fans, for you Cleveland Brown fans, it's called Dogs, baby. It's D-A-W-G-S. We've got a Dogs Podcast. If you're a Cleveland Brown fan, if you're a pro football fan, you got to love it. It debuted last week right here on the Big Time Sports Facebook. Watch it this coming week on the Big Time Sports Facebook. I'm going to step back, take a little break. When we come back, we are going to talk Uncle Charlie Softball on the Big Time Sports TV show. We'll be back after you watch this from Shannon Cole's favorite automotive dealer. It's Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. You invest a lot in your home and vehicle purchases. Van Nostrand Young Coots, now a Levitt Group affiliate agency, wants you to feel secure should anything happen to those investments. 
we partner with providers like Grange Insurance and other industry leaders to be sure that you're presented with the most complete coverage to fit your needs. Because we're not only here to protect the items you invest in, we're here to protect your future as well. Uh, Mr. Derek, can I talk to you for a second? What's going on? My best friend needs a lot of help, and I tried to talk to her about it, but she won't talk to me anymore. Well, I kind of told her that you were my trusted adult. <laughs> Is that okay? Absolutely. We all may need a little help, and it's even more important that we don't hesitate. Welcome back to the Big Time Sports Show. Tonight we are talking Uncle Charlie's softball tournaments. If you're a softball fan, you gotta love, you gotta love what's coming up on July 20th and 21st. And with that, let me introduce uh, a couple of the guys from Uncle Charlie's. First, let me introduce uh, an old buddy of mine. Uh, this young man's name is Jeff Diosa. Uh, Jeff, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Charlie. It's a Jeff, you've got here. a guy sitting beside you there that, uh, that uh, really pushes all the buttons at Uncle Charlie's, right? He's the bus driver. All right. So bus driver, Shannon Cole, right? Correct. Shannon, you are actually the tournament director. That's just a title, right? Just a title, that's you all. You know, because Jeff and the two other guys we're going to talk to are the guys that put it all together for you, right? All the nuts and bolts. That's those guys right there. All right. So, guys, I'll throw this question out, and whoever wants to step up to the plate, Uncle Charlie's softball. What is Uncle Charlie's softball? Who wants to answer that one? Chad and Jeff? I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Uh, as far as the Helping Hospice Tournament, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for, uh, for us to give back to the community. Um, softball has, in the last uh, three to five years, really been on an uptick um, as we see you covering it more and more with your show. Um, and we are just uh, a few minutes away from raining three-time state champions, uh, Strasburg Tigers. Isn't so, tough, uh, stra uh, you know, softball in our area, very, very popular, and popular not only in our area but throughout the country. So what we like to do is we like to uh, host tournaments with the opportunity for team teams to uh, play at both the showcase level and the community level, and uh, nothing makes us more happy than to uh, have a tournament that can give back to the community like uh, our Helping Hospice Tournament. All right, Jeff, why don't you uh, step in here. Jeff, tell me about this Helping Community Hospice Tournament. We know it's going to be July 20th and 21st. How many teams do you have, have, do you have coming? Where are the games going to be played? And most importantly, how can softball fans find out who's playing where? Um, our website will have the information, uh, UncleCharlie'sTournaments.com, uh, for all the all the tournament information that you might need or anybody looking to find uh, information about the tournament. The tournament will be held at Dover City Park. Uh, we will hold games at TCC uh, High School, the uh, Varsity Field, and New Philly Waterworks. Um, it's something that we started uh, four to five years ago uh, and we we're looking forward every year it has grown and as you can attest, last year, uh, broadcasting uh, live or yeah. from Dover Park last year for, Great for one of the championship year, games. Um, in fact, uh, you let my son do a little color I did. Uh, commentary. I did. That's when the that's when the switchboard lit up, that's, and I had to ask him to, to remove himself. That's that's what it was, <laughs> but. Uh, it's uh, it's just something great for the community, and it's it's the only local tournament that we do, um, and it's for a great benefit. Okay, so. all right, Shannon, he's telling us about the tournament here now. How many teams do you think, Shannon, can we anticipate for this big softball tournament weekend? We are going to be around 55 teams in five different age groups. We start off with the little ones in the 8U. Uh, we have 10U, 12U, 14, and 16, which the 14, the 16 is going to be covered by big time. That's it. We'll be there. Uh, so, uh, you know, with those teams that are there, we have some great competition. Uh, in the younger age groups, there's actually 18 teams in our 10U division. 
So there's a lot of growth potential. Like Jeff said, uh, this tournament started out four or five years ago. We only had 12 or 14 teams participating. This year, 55. So we're heading in the right direction. It's uh, been well received by the community. We appreciate uh, Dover City Park. Uh, our buddy Mike Sweet, uh, Sweet Mike over Sweet at, at TCC. Uh, TCC and TJ Gears with uh, New Philly Waterworks uh, helping us out to uh, to be able to bring this to the community. So you you put on softball tournaments, big time softball tournaments all over the Midwest. How many though? How many do you do to give money back to an organization like Hospice? Is this the only one here in the Dover, Ohio? Uh, we actually have two okay. that, that we're we're part of. Um, this is uh, this is our crown jewel. Uh, this is this is our baby. Uh, Jeff started this one up three, four, you know, four or five years ago, I guess. Uh, we are starting up another one in the Finley area, which is uh, Christmas in July, which is a Toys for Tots okay. um, connection there. But any any chance in the softball community that uh, teams and organizations have a chance to give back, it's it's just really big within the community. All right, Jeff. You got a couple rings here. We've got a couple. We got a I gold moved. ring and we've got a silver ring. Can you tell us why we have the props? I can, and but I want to take a chance to say we also want to thank Jeff Matthews in the city of Dover, the sure. mayor, and everybody we work with over there. Without them, this would never happen. Okay. So, the rings here we have are our silver finalist. So if you make it to the finals and you are on the team that finishes in second place, you will get a ring that says Uncle Charlie's finalist, and that's the silver ring. The gold ring says Uncle Charlie's champion. So that's a the nice team that wins piece. it will get this ring. So each okay. player on the team. And Look. the coach gets a nice big old trophy. Yes, he <laughs> Is does. that right? That's yes, great. Team yeah, that's gets right. a championship. You know, trophy. you guys really, you guys got the Cadillac of sports here. This Uncle Charlie's tournament, I've been watching you guys from afar, and uh, I'm impressed. So you Thank guys you. keep up the good work. They're telling me i got to throw it to a break. So sit tight. When we come back, more about Uncle Charlie's tournament on the Big Time Sports Show. We'll be back after you watch this from... Uh, Shannon Cole's favorite automotive dealer. And Shannon, who is it? Oh, well, it's got to be Ferris. It's got to be Ferris. Ferris. Gotta be. We'll be back after you watch this. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota, home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. Ride into the future to win great prizes. Can you see into the Sarda crystal ball? Guess how we'll be innovating and adding new services to make your Sarda experience better than ever. Try your luck with the What's Next at Sarda contest at sardanext.com. One grand prize winner will win free bus rides for six months. Runners up will win great Sarda merchandise like a Bluetooth speaker water bottle, backpack, and tumbler. And don't worry, they're all multiple choice questions. All part of Sarda 25. Happy Sardiversary! At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyle. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Welcome back to the Big Time Sports Show. Tonight we're talking uh, softball, and we're talking the very best in softball with the guys from Uncle Charlie's Softball Tournaments. Before I get going here, I want to remind you, go to UncleCharliesTournaments.com. Uh, Is that right? UncleCharliesTournaments.com. Go to their website. I was just there. Very impressed. Very organized. Everything you want to know about the best softball tournaments in the Midwest. Let's go now to get back to my buddy Jeff here. And Jeff, we have a young man with us on this segment. 
You know him a lot better than I do. You go to Wisconsin with him. You know, you go to Indiana with him. You're all over the country doing any softball tournaments with this young man. Tell us who he is and why he's sitting here beside a VAP like you. Aaron uh, O'Brien is a gentleman sitting next to me. Uh, Aaron is our recruiting coordinator. He is also uh, responsible for building the Uncle Charlie's websites. Uh, Aaron, anything that old guys like me and, and, and Shannon me. and you and, Shannon, yeah. and uh, guys that uh, don't like to get into that uh, technology, this is the guy that takes care of everything for us. So, so Aaron, he's an important uh, call. Your buddy Jeff is showering you with all kinds <laughs> of uh, long accolades here. So I, uh, I appreciate it very much. You got a lot of balls in here, don't you? I do. I do. We uh, handle the recruiting aspect of our other tournaments. Uh, like Jeff said, we do all the websites. So uh, when the teams sign up, it's my job to make sure they're listed. So which job, if you could only pick one job, do you want to be? A full-time recruiting coordinator, or do you want to be a full-time social media director? I would say recruiting coordinator. It's uh, it's fun working with the college coaches. I've built very good relationships, um, and it really helps our tournaments grow. Um, being able to add the different schools, the different college coaches to come in and participate in our camps and come to recruit at our event, it uh, really allows the event to grow, more teams to come. Well, let me play the devil's advocate here. Why do you need, why do you need a college softball coach to put on an Uncle Charlie's tournament? Um, our biggest thing is we focus with showcase. Our job is to promote your kids, get them to the next level, okay, and we feel true. our events do that. Um, again, we can bring in fifteen to twenty of the college coaches, and it's you're not going to get in front of college coaches at just your everyday tournament. Now, since the big time sports crew is going to be at TCC to do that double header, why don't we get a college coach or two up in the press box with your buddy Mellow Tones, and I'll have like a coach sit in for th these two innings. Another coach can stop by the booth and he'll sit in for another two innings and we'll talk college softball and Uncle Charlie's tournament. That's good stuff for the viewers out Absol there. Absolutely. If we can get it if we can get it going, we'll definitely try to have somebody up in there with you. So how excited are you about what's going to happen at Dover? You were there last year? I was. I was there. I was impressed. You guys did a hell of a good job, okay? Is it bigger and better this year? I Yeah. I mean, we have way more teams. Uh, we've expanded on the age groups. So we're the older teams who may have participated with us when they were younger, 10s, 12s, 14s, are now getting to play at 16U. Um, it's a, it's a great experience. I mean, you can't find, in my personal opinion, a better tournament. Jeff, 55 teams. Now, you heard Shannon Cole in the first segment talk about you were the guy, you were the stick that was stirring the drink for the first Uncle Charlie's tournament in Dover. That was three or four years ago, I Correct. assume. So give me one sentence to describe what has happened since year one to current day. Unimaginable growth. Uh, the enthusiasm that uh, teams teams call uh, as soon as we as soon as we put it out on the website promote, we've got teams signing up. Whenever we get it out there, whether that's this October, November, when it goes up on the site, we always like to get it up a little bit earlier. But we're involved in even fall ball, um, so the quicker we can get it up the quicker we start seeing team sign up. Uh, the other thing is with what you guys did last year uh, broadcasting the championship game, it's generated a lot Good. of enthusiasm. Uh, so that's that's a great thing. And any time we can have people in the park uh, spending a little money and that money's going to such a cause as hospice, uh, everybody benefits. Aaron, question for you. I realize, of course, you have the title of recruiting coordinator on this shirt. Then you change shirts. Now you're the social media director. How much do you anticipate raising for our local hospice? 
You think you could raise five hundred dollars for the benefit of the local hospice? Our our goal is definitely to exceed way more than five hundred dollars. Okay. We're hoping in the thousands. Good, that's good. So guys, they're telling me I got to throw it to another break. I want to thank my old buddy Jeff Diosa for coming in tonight. Jeff, keep up the good work. I will. Thank you, All Charlie. right, buddy. Thanks for coming in. The big guy here, the recruiting coordinator, he's a, wait a minute, you called him the engine that drives the bus? He's, he's, he's the engine. Okay. You say Shannon's the bus driver. He's the engine. All right. So, so Aaron, thanks for coming aboard, my friend. Don't it. forget, send me that Facebook post as soon as you can. We definitely will. Thank All you. right, so there you have it. We're talking Uncle Charlie's softball tournament. Stay right there. We got one more to do here. One more guy coming up to talk about Uncle Charlie's tournament. So we'll be back after you watch this from Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota, home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. Think Ferris. This moment, it's a choice. To find out what you're made of to own what's in front of you, no matter what that might be. We showed up, we're here. This moment belongs to us right now. Searching for the quality of a nationally recognized Medicare Advantage plan, but seeking the personalized care and service of a local familiar face? Primetime Health Plan is a top performing plan with competitive benefits available right here in your community. Whether you call or meet us in person, our local team will be there to help you find quality coverage and care close to home. Call us today or visit us online at www.pthp.com to learn about our 2024 plans. We are back once again to the Big Time Sports Show tonight. We've been talking Uncle Charlie's Softball Tournament. It's a big, big, really big, did I say big, big, really big? A big tournament coming up July 20 and 21 here in T County. And let me introduce a new guy now on the set. We met my young friend Aaron on the last segment. Aaron, of course, has got two titles, Recruiting Coordinator and Social Media Director. Now, Aaron... This young man sitting here between us, you know this guy well. I do. You spend a lot of time with him. So <laughs> I do. why don't you introduce him to everybody out there at TV land and tell everybody how important he is to Uncle Charlie Softball. Absolutely. This is uh, Noah O'Brien, our social media content creator. Wow. Also known as uh, my brother. <laughs> okay. But uh, no, he's very important. Very important cog. Uh, he's in charge of going out and getting interviews. Um, he's taking pictures. Uh, basically, he's the backbone to all of our content creation. So all of the graphics you see, um, anything that goes on Twitter, the Facebook, TikTok, that's all this guy here. All right. So, uh, Noah, welcome to the Big Time Sports Show, my friend. Thank you, Charlie. So, uh, Noah, you got 55 teams, they tell me, coming to town for this, for this tournament. Yes, sir. Are they all these teams just in Ohio? Are these just Ohio teams only? No, Charlie. So we have teams from everywhere. <laughs> we got teams from Michigan. Um, we have teams coming down from Indiana. I mean, the Dover, the hospice tournament is bringing many teams from different areas to a small location. And to be able to broadcast to 55 teams is, is phenomenal. Okay. All right. So Noah, since you're the new guy on the show on this segment, We've got, uh, we've got something sitting here in front of you. Why don't you tell everybody out there what this is all about? Of course. So being the social media content creator, um, my goal is to go out and interview coaches and players and get that content up on our social media platforms. Two tournaments ago, we brought in social media influencer Morgan Gaither. Here, we had her sign balls, and we went out and interviewed different players 
and we even had players interview Morgan on where she was from, what she did. That's pretty good stuff. It was. It was, sure. it was great. So it made that connection with players to someone who played in college and how she got there. What's the chances? What's the chances, though, of, of maybe this year me signing the softball like she did? <laughs> Do you think that would be a uh, you know splash out there like she did? I think I think we can get that in the works. What's the best thing, Noah, about working with the Uncle Charlie Softball Tournament organization? Yes. Yeah, so working with the softball organization um, allows me to get my name out to other teams. Um, bringing in even even the college coaches, I'm able to interact with them and just see how they do things day to day. You started out and refreshed my memory. It was just a couple of years ago that you and I were talking about, hey, Noah, why don't you get some action pictures of the new Philly Dover basketball game and send them to old Charlie so we can sell some for you on our website. So now that's evolved into this, right? Yes, sir. So my senior year of high school, uh, I reached out to you about uh, having that connecting platform to where I can get my images out on, on your platform. And then I went down to South Carolina Aiken for college to pursue business in my photography and soon hooked up with them to do an internship for Uncle Charlie's tournaments. All right, so uh, Aaron, uh, you know, uh, we're almost up against it here, but Aaron, why do I want to come to an Uncle Charlie's softball tournament? Uh, pretty much the, ex the experience is like no other. Uh, you're going to play against very good competition. Uh, the communication from us, the tournament directors, is going to be very good, unlike no other. Uh, you're going to be up to date. And honestly, we use some of the best fields in the, in the area. So, I mean, you can't, can't ask for anything better than that, Charlie. All right. So, Noah, my young friend, tell me now, why do I want to load everybody in my car and come to Uncle Charlie's Helping Community Hospice Tournament? What am I going to see when I get there? You're going to see loads of fun, Charlie. It's a, it's a, great, organ it's a great cause that you're coming in and supporting. So it'd be a, it's a wonderful time. And part of the funds now, part of the funds now, guys, are going to go to our local hospice operation, Absolutely. correct? Yes, down there, uh, uh, Community Hospice, or now known as uh, Hospice Ohio. All right, so tell me, guys, and, and either one of you, how can I get more information about Uncle Charlie's softball tournament? You're the content guy. You're the relations guy. Who's going to answer that question? Uh, I can take that. Uh, you can go to our website, which is www.uncletcharliestournaments.com. Uh, you can follow us on X at UC Tournaments. You can follow us on Instagram at UC Tournaments. And Facebook, the same. And, of course, the big one nowadays is TikTok. All right. I thought you were going to say the big one nowadays is big time sports. It is. But you're going to send me that link so people, okay, so now we're going to partner. Is that correct? Absolutely. All right, guys, they're telling me we are up against it. It's time to close the door on the big time sports TV show. Now, you guys being softball guys, you know, if you're like Jeff Deosa, Jeff can make a clean pickup down there at third base and throw a bullet over to first to ring it up, okay? Can you guys do that? Yes, sir. Oh, All right, guys, here we go. Keep your socks high and your powder dry. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. This has been the Big Time.